Hi Scorpio, so I'm going to get straight into your reading and if there's anything else that you feel that you need to know about, especially if you're new to tarot, then you can find all of the information you need in my descriptions box and in my pinned comments. Cross watches, please feel free to switch the energies around if it applies, but as always you take what resonates for you and you leave what doesn't, okay? Right, Scorpio Collective please. Also, with this being the beginning of the month, Scorpio, this read is engineered towards your general life and the mid-month reads are the love reads. Right, so you've got confidence. And obviously that pretty much speaks for itself. Confidence. You know exactly who you are, what you're capable of, the direction that you want your life to go in and no longer take into heart the, the criticisms of others, okay? So anything negative that anybody thinks about you or says about you, you you're just letting it bounce off you, right? You, you're no longer absorbing their energies. This is also about saying your uh, positive daily affirmations. Um, now, initially, it might f make you feel a bit awkward doing it. Um, it. Might even make you a bit angry saying your positive affirmations. But give yourself time, okay? It does get a lot easier with time. And that's the thing about positive affirmations as well. Um, when, when you think about it, it's easier for us to believe the negative about ourselves than it is for us to believe the positive about ourselves. Um, so it will make you feel a bit awkward doing these positive affirmations, but, but keep with it, keep with it. It does get a lot easier over time. Um, it, it's all about sort of rewiring your brain, okay? Um, it, it's also pertaining to anything and everything that has knocked your confidence. Again, you're just letting things bounce off you instead of absorbing. And if, if you suffer from having a very loud inner critic as well, same thing. It's finding the root cause for that loud inner critic and telling it to do one, basically, because your inner critic doesn't have a clue what it's talking about, basically. It's overwriting your intuition. So if you feel that your inner critic is louder than your intuition, then th this is your card, okay? This message is for you. It's a really, really nice energy because it is all about taking back your power and not allowing someone else to have power over you. Right, you can have Scorpio's energy, please. Right, so your first card out is the Tower, Mars Energy, Scorpio, Aries, and the Five of Swords. It's Aquarian Energy, interesting. Um, the Five of Swords is competition, and the Queen of Wands, which is Aries Energy. Right, okay. Um, I am going to have to clarify this Tower why is a tower here, please? Thank you. Ten of coins, Virgo energy and the five of swords again. Right. Um, th there is a highly competitive individual around you, Scorpio. Um, somebody sees you as a threat, okay? This this is coming through, look, Queen of Wands here. Now, <clears throat> it doesn't make a difference if, if you identify as feminine, masculine, gender fluid. Honestly, it makes no difference whatsoever. It's just the energies that we're reading. The, the Queen of Wands energy is all about somebody who um, takes on quite a lot of projects at the same time. They keep the home fires burning, okay? Um, just because they've got a lot on, it doesn't mean to say that they're not productive with it, 
right? They're, they're very productive. This is you, Scorpio. Um, this is very much your energy. It's that sort of um, mysterious, tempting, it's basically the sexy mystery. Okay, you coming across as a sexy mystery. You you very busy at this time, and I can see that specifically you could be busy building up your finances. Um, you've had to put up with a lot of competition as well. For some of you, a small handful of you, this could be saying that there is competition at a family within a family, competition within a family. Um, th there could be dynamics within your family, such as scapegoat, golden child, uh, flying monkeys, you know, um, narcissistic parent and an orbiting parent, right? It, it could be that kind of competition. For most of you though, I'm seeing that this is competition when it pertains to a career. That there's, there's a lot of competition. So there's a need for you to stand out from the crowd with this Queen of Wands energy, a need for you to be proactive and, and to, to keep at it as well, because the Queen of Wands isn't somebody that gives up, okay? With this Tower and the Five of Swords, it's, it's showing that someone is specifically trying to piss on your chips, right? Um, th this absolutely does feel like an outside influence. So it's really important right now that you do not allow, as I said at the start, the opinions of others to shake up the way that you see yourself. Don't allow the opinions of somebody else to shatter your confidence, okay? Because th there is a clear goal here, Scorpio, where somebody is trying to peel you down. Someone is trying to cause destruction for, for you, uh, for your family, and for your finances, okay? Th there is a hater in your energy. That is coming through very loud and very clear. Nothing new there then. Okay, let's see outside influences affecting Scorpio, please. Okay, the chariot, a Cancerian. So you could be dealing with a Cancerian. You could have that in your chart. Um, Forward movement, willpower, moving away. This could be physical movement as well. The devil. Another major arcana, Capricorn energy. Um, interesting. Okay. Outside influences. And the two of swords. Libra energy. Stuck making a decision. Okay, so... This is showing, for some of you, this could be as clear cut as a Cancerian um, is the vicious, jealous one that's trying to pull you down. It, it could be that for some of you, okay? It could be as clear cut as that. Um, very unusual if that was the case because normally Cancerians are very gentle natured. Usually Cancerians don't put too much stock into what everybody else is doing. Um, usually, I mean, obviously, yes, you do get the exceptions to the rule every so often. Um, so for some of you, it, c it could be as clear cut as a toxic, poisonous Cancerian who is jealous of you and trying to pull you down. And for others of you, this, this could be a Capricorn who you moved away from, who is now stuck trying to make a decision about what to do next. Okay. So it branches off in, in a few different directions for you. Again, I, I do have to emphasize, um, I'm just reading the cards. Okay. I, I don't choose what comes out of the cards. I just have to read them as honestly as I can. It's not for me to tell you which 
timeline belongs specifically to you, all right? You'll feel it. You, you will feel it on a really personal level if any of the messages hit home for you, okay? I would like to clarify this devil, though. Why is the devil here, please? It's an outside influence. Thank you. The devil clarified by the devil. This is the universe saying, um, did I fucking stutter? Did I fucking stutter? And devil clarified by the devil. So this is strong. This is a really, really strong influence in your energy. So it's vitally important here, Scorpio, that you do not slip. Don't slip, whatever you do. For, for some of you, I'm, I'm seeing that somebody is waiting for an opportunity to, to try and take advantage, okay? For some of you. Um, I, I, I don't know, this reading is making me feel quite uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie. Don't bend to the will of somebody else, <clears throat> whatever you do. Again, for a small handful of you, it could just be simply be reinforcing the message that there is a Capricorn that doesn't know what to do about the situation with you. All right. As I say, this is clearly branching off in two very different ways. OK, what's the outcome or the guidance here, please? <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. Ooh, I can stop holding my breath now. The Wheel of Fortune's here. It's beautiful. Fate, karma, destiny. Things going well. Things going really, really well for you, Scorpio. Things going the way that you expect. Things moving forward. Um, so if, if this is about somebody that you're dealing with who isn't sure about what it is they're going to do with the connection with you and they, they quite clearly I mean for some of you you've straight up got a hater and for others of you you've straight up got someone who is obsessed with you for very very different reasons than that okay so again fit it as it applies um it's we're going to stick with the individual who is obsessed with you, okay, in, in the nice way, not in the horrible way, okay. That's, that's the individual that we're going to stick with. And I'll, I'll tell you for why, Scorpio. If, if you put focus and spend your energy on individuals who have got bad intent towards you, you'll find that you'll give away your power to them and you'll actually feed in to that negative energy just purely by thinking about it, okay? Because your thoughts, you, your thoughts are energy. You, you can actually manifest with your thoughts, okay? So let's, we, we'll keep tabs on the toxic individual, the spiteful, jealous one, but we won't focus on it. OK, so you're aware of them. You know that they're out there. You, you know that they're waiting for an opportunity to strike. Fair enough. Let's focus on the individual who is seeing that you're part of their destiny. You're part of their fate. You're part of um, what makes them who they are. That the one who is quite clearly madly in love with you, but they don't know what to do with it. OK, let's focus on that one. Because that, that is showing to be very, very successful, okay? If you think about the Wheel of Fortune, it's ruled by Jupiter, which is basically the Santa Claus of the planets, all right? It's rapid growth, expansion, um, optimism. It's all of the good stuff, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is also a reminder that this too shall pass. So whichever part of the, the branches in this read that you're resonating with, just remember, this too shall pass, right? You've then got the Ace of Wands. 
Yeah. Now, if, if you look at the way these cards are, okay, you've got the devil twice standing on the head of the Ace of Wands. So this is highly sexually charged energy, right? When these two are lined up with each other, um, it's... I, I can't go into too much detail, right? Because... I think my channel would become demonetized, but you can use your imagination basically, okay? It's really, really sexually charged energy. And the fact that it's come out with the Wheel of Fortune, it's it's a very positive thing, all right? So Scorpio, to, to put it as cleanly as I possibly can for what I'm saying, um, someone's wanting to bang you and bang you hard, okay? Um, and I'm gonna leave it I'll leave it there, right. Let's see, you have to come here, please. Yeah, Queen of Coins, more Capricorn energy. Um, stability, being grounded, being present in the moment is also about commitment as well. So this isn't someone who just wants to, um, <clears throat> they, they, they want to be committed to you as well. They're, they're in it to win it, absolutely in it to win it. And that could also explain the reason why we saw the two Five of Swords, high competition. So there could be a lot of competition for your attention, Scorpio. It, it could be that as well. Whoever this is that's shown up in your reading, they are in it to win it. And you've got the Ace of Coins at the bottom of the deck, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a brand new beginning, a brand new, um, a brand new path in life. It's also a gift from the universe as well. So this individual, I'm, I'm going to say with the type of read that you've got here, Scorpio, you're dealing with a very strong soul connection. Okay, there, there is a mag magnetism between you and this individual. And it's certainly indicating that they're, they're coming towards you, having made a decision that actually, if they're deadly serious about this connection, they, they, need, they, they need to be honest, grounded, realistic, that they need to give you something worth having, which for a lot of you is simply the truth. And under there you've got three of cups, Cancerian energy, a reunion, a reconciliation. And under there, judgment, yeah. Pluto energy, yeah. So um, <clears throat> Scorpio, I, I did say at the start of this reading, it, this was engineered more towards a general life reading and the love reads a mid-month it looks like you've got a love reading here for, for a lot of you okay um someone someone from your past is coming back towards you um it doesn't necessarily have to be from the distant past this could be like recent past it could just be somebody that you haven't spoken to in a couple of weeks or a couple of months it could be anything like that okay in ten of coins so some of you haven't spoken to this individual in about 10 months um it's it's certainly looking really really interesting scorpio so you'll need to let me know what this is Right, let's pull a healing message. A healing message, please. Oh, okay, simple pleasures look for beauty that is all around you right and we'll do the usual rule of three with these healing messages so your first message comes from the creator of the deck your second and most important message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card and then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition <clears throat> so it says 
We're meant to enjoy this life in an infinite variety of ways. The more self-aware and self-accepting we become, the happier we will be. If days seem to go by before we know it, it can be because we forget to be aware and attentive to the smaller pleasures in life. Sufi wisdom softens and opens us up to love, and this includes an attitude of compassion for our own being. The Sufi master Ansari wants you to realize that you were born with potential. You already possess everything you need to enjoy life. You are protected in the loving arms of a divine creator. Stay focused to truly accept what is coming to you in this present moment. When you are faced with challenges, try to meet them with a positive attitude. Goals that bring you peace are achievable through perseverance. Inner peace or happiness is not what you have to work to achieve. They're what you experience through trusting your higher self. They are present in every moment. To the Sufis, happiness is centred on having control of our desires, doing what we're guided to do to achieve this, and developing a proper relationship with our community. Be aware, just like the Sufis, and whisper a prayer of thanks as you awaken to the little things. And this card comes with a mantra which says, Every hour of my life brings me a variety of pleasurable experiences. I am realising they may never come again. I will accept the sweet pleasure of the gifts of the little things and live in grateful appreciation. Wow. So literally with that one, it's a reminder that you're already whole, you're already complete and you are consciousness. You're already perfect in in a lot of ways. Um, your imperfections is what makes you perfect. Your um, humanity is what makes you perfect. Okay, right, sacral chakra fire agate so some fire agate might be beneficial for you at this time and it says creation the flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth well that's interesting because your first card out was the tower and your sacral chakra it pertains to your right to feel and it deals with issues of sexuality and emotions and um, creativity as well anything basically to do with pleasure okay and it it can be blocked by guilt so again it's a very sexually charged energy could it be that somebody felt a bit odd with having all of this sexual energy towards you or you then it's an interesting one the flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth and we did see the judgment card as well in your reading so something that you thought was over with somebody scorpio it's not over it's not over whatever it was that was destroyed between you that was a necessary um destruction it was basically pulling down um anything that wasn't built on solid ground okay so if you felt that somebody was a bit superficial and they really annoyed you so you walked away and you've ended something with them for being superficial um, they're, they're coming back towards you with a much different attitude this time, okay? Right, so for those of you who are offended at swearing, then you probably want to switch out now because this is the Rebel deck. It can be very brutal, a bit offensive and quite blunt, okay? Right, stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking in on that person, just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. So you could be um, sidetracked at this point in time because if you remember, we did see two in two different individuals in this reading. For for some of you, there was two different individuals. You might be focused on um, the the toxic one who's got it out for you because of their jealousy towards you. And if you're focused on that, you're not going to see this soulmate coming in 
or coming back in towards you, I should say. You're giving away your power. Mm -hmm. You're a badass. Act like it. Mm. Fuck. Shit's about to get real. You need your people around you. Interesting. So you'll have to let me know what comes of this reading, Scorpio. It's really, really nice. So that is what I have for you. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.